San Salvador, Reuters, the party of El Salvador's president Nayib Bukele voted early on Sunday to remove the country's top prosecutor, part of an intensifying political purge that has rocked the Central American country and drawn international criticism. The vote shortly after midnight to dismiss Attorney General Raul Malara followed a new legislative majority's votes on Saturday night to kick out all of the judges on the constitutional chamber of the nation's Supreme Court, which the small opposition and even one of U.S. President Joe Biden's advisers criticized. Ruling party lawmakers accused Malara, whose office wields significant power to conduct investigations, of lacking independence. The popular Bukele hailed the vote to dismiss the judges as a victory but international rights groups including Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch called it a dangerous power grab. Tiffany Cross answers viewer question on conservatives backing corporate socialism, balking at social welfare rep. Hakeem Jeffries talks Rudy Giuliani's apartment being searched in federal investigation Native American lawmaker on GOP's revisionist history. We are still here. Michael Cohen says the SDNY now has a treasure trove of information, after raiding Giuliani's home Indian journalist on the front lines of the dire COVID-19 crisis in India. This is a humanitarian catastrophe, former Republican as Attorney General on GOP audit. The whole thing is a sham, Velshi. Reforming qualified immunity protesters calling on White House, Congress to pass immigration reform Hillary Clinton calls out GOP reps who downplay Capitol riot. They're not open to reality. There's two justice systems in America, says Andrew Brown Jr. family attorney Ben Crump Brittany Packnett Cunningham. Systemic racism isn't up for debate Major Biden trained to deal with the new White House cat Biden admin treats Russian political intrusion with law enforcement and transparency Biden, like LBJ, leads a divided nation dealing with crisis U.S. Restricts travel to India as COVID surges their deliverables were delivered, despite denials, much of the Giuliani case is on the record the five judges issued a ruling invalidating the legislative action minutes after the vote to remove them from their posts, declaring it an unconstitutional attack on El Salvador's democracy and plunging the country into an uncertain political battle. In the hours after the initial vote on the judges, lawmakers representing the president's newly emboldened New Ideas Party voted to replace the judges as well as the attorney general. Police were called in to escort the new judges to the courthouse though it was unclear what actions if any they would take upon installing themselves in the building. The five ousted judges, the most powerful jurists on the 15-member court, were among the few remaining checks on Bukele's power. Bukele's party accused them of impeding the government's health strategy amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The New Ideas Party took firm control of Congress after midterm elections in February gave it a more than two-thirds supermajority in the unicameral legislature. Saturday marked the new legislature's first session. The votes to remove the judges and the prosecutor passed with 64 lawmakers in favor, or nearly 80% of the 84-seat legislature. Reporting by Nelson Renteria. Writing by David Alier Garcia. Editing by Will Dunham.